So I am terribly disappointed that, that some of you can't get this Excel thing to work because you're on a Mac or for some other reason. So I'm just going to walk you through it. But if, if you can get the Excel to work, I really want you to watch this and play with these materials and play with these numbers. But to run through it real quick. So you've got two sets of two types of experiment, well, two sets of tubes here. You've got the light tubes that are going to be incubated in the light and the dark tubes that are going to be incubated in the dark. And we're going to observe photosynthesis happening. The, um, the way photosynthesis works is that um, the plant takes the CO2 um, and, and turns it into sugar, right? Um, and the CO2, if you add CO2 to a liquid, then CO2 um, is acidic. And that's exactly what we're taking advantage of here. There, what's in those tube here is phenol red, and all the tubes start out the same. Now, I'm gonna, um, when you click on the first one, it asks you to add phenol red to the first, uh, add, sorry, add CO2 to the first tube. And this is your control. So it's your control that shows you what the red looks like, what the red that you started out with. So you don't want to add anything to it. So you're going to add CO2 to the second tube. Um, and I'm giving you the option of how much CO2 you want to add. 50 is a good number. And you see how the color changes as you add the CO2. This is what would be happening in real life. As you're, as you're blowing the bubbles in there, the color slowly changes to orange. And you're going to do this with all the tubes except for the controls. So you need to add CO2 to the dark ones too. And then you're going to add CO2 to this one. So what you have now, you have your, your negative control, right? Your red that where you have no change whatsoever, right? Or your positive control, depending on how you want to see it. And then you have two tubes that are orange. Now in one of them, we're going to add a plant because we want to see what the difference does in the plant. Um, now this is your no plant control. So you don't want to add a plant to it, right? So click add the plant control. This is where you're going to add the plant. And then this is where you're going to add the plant too. Now these three tubes here, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be incubated in the light. And these three tubes are going to be incubated in the dark. And when you've done all these things, when you've added the CO2, uh, this will turn into setup complete. And you can then click go to incubation worksheet. So now you're going to go to the incubation worksheet. Um, so we have, we have a light over here and we can put this into the light and we have the same set of tubes in the dark with, you know, two orange ones, a red one, and then we're going to start the incubation. Um, it asks you how long you want to incubate and I'm going to, um, in the lab, we usually do 45 minutes and I'm going to give you 45 minutes. It's going to take a minute to get the 45 minutes done. But, um, and then I'm asking you how close you want the light. Um, so I'm going to close the light to like one inch and say, okay. And now you see the time going up here. And the light is shining on these. It's not shining on the ones that are inside of the box. And the starting uh, CO2 was 100 arbitrary units. And you see how the color slowly changes and the CO2 slowly disappears in, in the tube that had the light. And then you just let this go for a little bit longer. We set 45. so. And, and you can kind of get an idea, right? If we did this shorter, um, obviously your result would be a little different. Um, so we're at 45, the incubation is complete. You say, okay. And to see the results, you need to move the box, right? And when you look at the box, you see there's a distinct difference between the red here, that's with the plant that has no units of CO2 left and the, um, the dark without uh, the the one in the dark with a plant that has all the CO2 left, um, and then this is this is basically what you're seeing in your um, in the pictures of your handout too, um, because the one of them after the incubation, the plant with the with the light, and the plant, <laughs> the tube with the light and the plant turned red after the incubation, whereas the tube with the plant in the dark did not. <laughs> 